Hello there, people. This is Zeta Watch. It's been a while, hasn't it? Uh, welcome to a new playthrough I decided on doing instead of going for the other route, which was having you decide for me. I have a feeling that would have taken way too long, and I just don't have the patience for that, to be honest. Um, this is... Well, to start off, this is a game I haven't played in years, so we're going to get into that in a while, but uh, Mega Man X4, it's one of my absolute favorite games for the PlayStation, and as you know, it's one of the only games I own for the PlayStation. I only have like two. Used to have three, but I sold the other one to get... I forget what I got with that. But it, it gave me five bucks, which was nice, because that's exactly how much I paid for the game. <laughs> Alright, uh... Welcome to this game, Mega Man X4. That's double. You'll get into them in a moment. No homo. Uh, the other girl right here is Iris. These two are the only... Oh, and Colonel. Which is that guy right there. Um, I don't even know anymore. <laughs> At first, I thought taking this whole break of uh, time would be good for me to do. But no, I'm still the same old me. <laughs> Although it does help that I have this Mountain Dew Voltage nearby that I got with uh, money I've been making from my new job. Side topic, I'm not sponsored in any way by that job, nor do I make any voices for that job. And I also work at <coughs> Mart. Uh, <laughs> Alright. Anywho, now loading. Alright. Drum roll. You already saw the name of the game. Why did they do that? Fuck you. That came out like three years after I was born. Look at that. Anywho. Game starts. To start off, uh, we have two different play styles to choose from this time around instead of just a Mega Man. Uh, we have Mega Man and we have Zero, a fighting robot created by... <clears throat> Uh, to destroy this guy. Uh, wow, my TV is really bright, but that's not the point. The point is, we have two choices. I will be doing both in separate playthroughs, and I will be going over each of their strengths and their weaknesses. Start off, let's go with X, because that's the name of the game. Even though you have the least amount of plot relevance, X, I'm going to start with you because you have the least amount of plot relevance. And I like to save the best shit for last. So, yeah, cutscene. It's about the Maverick Hunters, General. They are far too eager to please the humans and continue to hunt down the Reploids. Do you believe they pose a significant threat? Perhaps you already know the truth, General. Uh, the people with freaking horns and shit. And why the hell do they have uh, the freaking glass paintings here like they do in uh, churches and shit? This is the future. We're supposed to have high tech holograms, not glass painting or a tinted glass windows. And why do you have books? Remove yourself from my sight. My business with Better question, why the fuck uh very well. Why does that guy look like Deadpool? <laughs> Bye Deadpool. See you later. Don't break the fourth wall, please. Mavericks have been found at point five five six seven. Random number, I don't know what it means. The Mavericks occupied the Sky Lagoon using the most advanced weapons available. The army appears to be the Repla Force. Roger that! I'm on my way now! This is hilarious. Yes, I did that voice on purpose. X's voice in this game is... Mega Man eats Mega Man. Uh, quick pause. Alright. This is the Sky Lagoon. This is the first level for both X and Zero. Fuck you, Dragonfly. Uh, 
start off going over X's strengths. He's a very good fighter ranged. And I did not put the right button I thought I would have for dash. Give me about five seconds. All right. Um, also, X has a nifty little thing called the charge shot, like he did before. I just got bitch slapped by a giant green dragon. Either way, he's gone now. And we have giants. I don't know what that thing is to deal with. Either way, um, this is actually the reason, or one of the things that really got me into this game. Just gets you so pumped up for future events, and, nope, suddenly random explosions that will probably cause seizures. Sorry, guys. Uh, you're the Dragoon from the 14th unit. This isn't good, X. That maverick just destroyed the power reactor. What? Then the Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. It's too late, X. It's time. I made my escape. I suggest you do the same. Don't do anything reckless on the way out, okay? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I, I laugh too much at myself. The city below will soon become a sea of flames. Many people will perish. I have no choice but to escape from here and head to the city below. No, you don't. Which is why we wonder why the fuck you don't just rush to the boss. <laughs> Alright. Well, the city has been completely destroyed. Why must we fight? We are not enemies. They are innocent people. I won't forget this. Yeah, sawed off, X. Alright, uh... The main goal for here is just to... Did I just get hurt by that? Uh, it doesn't matter. Either way. Get out of my way, you fucker. Alright, uh... This is the easiest level in the game. Ironically enough... Uh... Well, <laughs> I did a practice run at this and didn't die at all. It's amazing how much you could change in the span of a couple of minutes. <laughs> Either way, uh, that was just awful. That was terrible. That was dicks. Oh, my new fun favorite phrase to say is, holy dicks. You may hear that from me every so often. Don't be surprised. That should make up for the lost life, right? Right? No? Fine. I admit, that was a terrible death. Either way. We finally made it to the boss. And we get to finally destroy them. And I don't know the name of this guy. I think it's just something something Dragoon. Let's just call him Egg Dragoon because he seems a little bit uh, hard-boiled if you ask me. Wait, all you have to do is just aim and fire and try not to get killed in the process. It's actually surprising that you could get killed. I really don't know if you can. I wasn't even trying there. I just jumped and shoot. Shot. Whatever. Wow, time really does fly when you're having fun. Um. Okay, cutscene. Who are you? I'm the Colonel of the Replay Force. Has the Replay Force been occupying this area? What are you talking about? I only came to save my sister. The army responsible for all the violence in this region is not the Replay Force. Nevertheless, I want you to disarm and follow me back to the HQ. Never. You're asking my soldiers to drop their weapons. The only time we drop our weapons is when we aren't able to fight any longer. But you will be regarded a maverick. 
and treat it as such. Do as you will. The Rebler Force would sooner fight and die than discard our pride. Consider us mavericks if this is what you wish. Wait! Calm down! Colonel! What the? Something's got to give. Otherwise, the entire Rebel Force will be considered to be mavericks. My impression of X's 8 voice sounds a lot like Elmo. So, I actually deleted my save data for this game, so this is all completely blank. As a result, I'm just going to save here. Alright, anywho. Um, continue. I think there's a cutscene after this. Yes, there is. <clears throat> Brave soldiers of Repliforce, we have all been wrongfully judged as mavericks by the humans. We cannot suffer this indignity and live in disgrace. We will build our own nation of Reploids. But remember, this is neither about insurrection nor rebellion against our human creators. This is about our liberty and security. We must battle for our own individual rights and our own survival. Together, we will build our nation, a sanctuary for all Reploids, our own utopia. Let us forge onward towards a new golden era for the Repliforce. Yeah! Holy shit, this stuff has 46 I grams of sugar per serving. Take heed, we have no other choice. Let us fight valiantly, with courage and pride. Without fear, for we are the Repliforce. The most powerful army in history! Yeah! Is it just me? Or does he sound a lot like Dr. White? <laughs> the general has finally taken action. And now, my maverick hunters, what will you do? I'll be watching closely from here on out. <clears throat> Sorry, I just took a sip of soda after this. Call me Double, the Rookie Hunter. My liege, the Rebel Force has begun its coup. Wait! Colonel, you're jumping to conclusions here. Sir, you've been given the order to scramble. Right! I'm leaving right now. Infiltrate enemy occupied jungle and destroy the weapon under construction. A bug has corrupted the network. Dive into cyberspace and exterminate it, lol. The Repliforce ship has taken off. Pursue and blast it out of the air. Dragoon of the 14th unit is a traitor. You don't say. Locate and bring him back to Hunter HQ. Repel Force decimated the city and left. Pursue them aboard a land chaser. Oh, that's a fun one. The abandoned lab is now operational. Investigate and destroy the lab. Will do. Eventually. A military train is moving supplies. Cut off Rebel Force's supply route. I am impatient right now, so I'm skipping through the rest. We've discovered a hidden snow base. Halt production of their new weapons. I will do some or one of these in the next part, because we're getting to that point again. This is Zeta Watch, and for the first time in a while, well, actually no. This is Zeta Watch. Like, favorite, sub share. Dildos. No. Uh, I will catch you guys later. Practice safe gaming. Peace out.